Welcome to Volunteer Friends. I'm the manager here, Manny Kelsey. Our aim is to encourage friendships, combat isolation and celebrate independent living. We run various services within the community and here is a short video just to let you know how our services benefit the community as well as the volunteers. Hi, my name is Melanie Hyden and I'm the Transport and Facilities Manager for Volunteer Friends. Volunteer Friends run a Medicar service which provides transport for people in the borough of the Neaton and Bedworth to attend medical journeys. These people are unable to use public transport and they have disabilities or short or long term illnesses. My name's Bob Hurst and I'm a Medicar driver. I started doing this because I like helping and meeting and driving. Without this service, people would find it difficult to get to their appointments, so they appreciate the service that we provide. It tells me greatly, it helps me greatly to get over to see my wife in, uh, I can never remember that, but Warwick, in, in Warwick. Without it, I wouldn't be able to visit as often as I do. The drivers are very good. They're, there. Uh, they're really good in doing it so voluntary and uh, I fully appreciate how they drive and the care they take when they're driving. Well, my name is Jeff Miller. I've been a coordinator here for now over 12 years and it's been a saviour to me. I've, um, when my wife died I was left at home alone, nothing to do, getting bored so this job keeps me mind active. It's helping me to um, make good friends. Everyone here is very nice. I've got some really good friends and it keeps me in line with the community. Um, I like the idea of helping people who uh, have difficulty getting to and from uh, hospital or um, doctor's appointments. Even we go to dentists. So these people are finding it very difficult um, without this service and I think it's a lifesaver. Hello, my name is Sandra White and I'm a member of staff for Volunteer Friends. We run a supported shopping service for people in the borough to enable them to be independent and help with their shopping. It's a weekly trip for people that go to the local supermarket and they have support in the bus drivers, the bus escorts and the shopping escorts at the supermarket. It's a valuable service and our escorts do say that sometimes it's the only time they actually get out and see other people and they really enjoy getting together in the cafe for a cup of tea and a natter. Okay ladies, we all done our shopping? Yes. 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 Uh, hundreds of toilet rolls belong to you, Sandra, do they? <laughs> Only 24. Only 24 this week, okay then, oh, that's great. I've got my brandy. And you've got, oh! For a pudding. Oh, oh we've got your that's brandy That's what for your she pudding. says. Oh, are you doing your Christmas pudding? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what she tells When are you going to be making that? <laughs> And what's what um, when you've done your shopping? It's nice that because we've just met you in the cafe area. Yeah, yeah. that's nice, isn't it? That yes. You can actually sit and have a chat. And, yes, and that's then I add and something have something to it. And... So, Medea. Yes. Let's have your story. <laughs> well, I just could not manage without the shopping bus. Full stop. <laughs> um, it's an excellent service, and. Um, as I say, I just couldn't. I just couldn't do my shopping without no, it. No. And um, I mean, if I had the taxi, they'd only bring me here and drop me off. But I need an escort That's to right. go around this shop because I can't see what's on the shelf. Yeah. I even get lost in there. Yeah. Graham, one of our long-standing drivers. What do you get out of driving our minibus? Uh, I think it's the the um, sense of putting something back. Mm -hmm. um, to have to um, help uh, our guests. Um, you've already heard from uh, Edna and Sandra and Lo about how important the shopping facility is to them. In reality, it's much more than that. Yes, yes. It's very much a social occasion. It's the chance to sit and uh, have a chat, and a cup of tea with like-minded people, 
who were typically in the same kind of position in, in, their, mm. in their circumstances. Mm. Uh, and the reality is for a number of uh, the people who uh, do the shopping service, it's sometimes the only time they get out during during a, a week. Yes, that's right. So, that's right. Uh, it, it's much more than just going to Asda and spending a few quid on uh, on toilet rolls. Yes, roles, yes, you know? yeah. yeah. <laughs> the word family springs to mind. Yeah, very yeah. much so. Yes, yeah. indeed. And I mean, obviously, you're retired. Yes. Um, and you you don't you drive. Um, as well as the shopping service, you drive on other, co other occasions I do for indeed, us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and like you say, you want to give something back and keep yourself busy and occupied. And you're able to do that for, for people, which is which is nice, isn't it? And it keeps you, it keeps your feet it keeps on the your ground. Yeah, that's right. It's yeah. very much a reality yeah. check. Yes. Um, yeah. To, uh, and, and, and they're lovely people. Yeah. And I know they're listening and they yeah. think I'm being patronising, but they are yes. genuinely nice yes. people. Yes, yeah. Rock, can you tell me a little bit about what you get out of being a volunteer for us? Thanks. Okay, all right. Well. Uh, just to give it some sort of perspective, um, I started recovering from a long illness and in an attempt to get back to work and that was suggested I do a bit of volunteer work, mm -hmm. which I thought, well that's not going to work. Uh, but anyway, so I started doing it and uh, I got more into it and uh, it, to my surprise I found it helped. I got yes. a lot more confidence yes. and uh, to be honest, a, a bit of feeling of self-worth as well. Brilliant. Well, I've had a lot of people help me in the past yes. and it's somehow indirectly paying them back. Yes, you see yes, what I mean? yeah. And to be honest, um, I think I'll get more out of it than the folks I've <laughs> I really do. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Max and I've been um, volunteering since 2009. Um, when I retired, I wanted to retain uh, a lot of my skills that I used in the business world. And so I came along to the Volunteer Centre to offer my skills um, in uh, office work, admin and event organising. Um, it's given me a lot of pleasure over the years and it's certainly something I think anybody who's retiring ought to, re ought to really consider um, as they are retiring as something to do because it needs to get you on a house, it, you meet a lot of people and um, you can also give purpose to your day but also it's giving a lot back into the community that uh, perhaps you haven't had time to do when you've been uh, busy working. Uh, there are a lot of people out there who need um, a little bit of help and um, certainly in my case if I can give that help to some people then it makes me feel very um, encouraged and uh, gives a joy to my day. So um, I would encourage anybody to consider volunteering um, and to use the skills that you've used in your business world or your um, working life so that there's lots of people out there who just need a little bit of help in their life. So, now you've heard from our staff, volunteers and service users. As well as Medicare and shopping service, we also offer DBS processing, minibus hire, room hire and social transport. If you would like to know more about what we do as an organisation, please get in touch. And if you'd like to volunteer for volunteer friends, Come on board.